Howdy. So in this problem, uh, we have a situation with a rifle. And okay, so, um, okay, something like that. And it's aimed horizontally at a target that is 50 meters away. The bullet, it's fired, right? And because of gravity, it's gonna fall while moving at constant speed in the X direction. So it's gonna fall a little bit and it's going to miss the target by two centimeters. So obviously not drawn to scale. So two centimeters is two times 10 to the negative two meters. All right, and there are two things that we are asked to calculate. The first one, what, e wh what was the bullet's flight time? Well, uh, we know that there is the, velocity of the bullet, it has an X component. And it has a, so in the I direction, and it has a Y component in the J direction, right? So because there's nothing acting, uh, there's no force, well, maybe friction, but here is negligible. Uh, there's no force acting in the horizontal direction, then the velocity just uh, remains the same the whole time. The velocity in the vertical direction, it is going to change. You know, initially it is zero, but by the time that it hits uh, this part, it's going to be not quite zero. Okay, so um, we know that velocity, is the change um, in the displacement divided by the time, right? And this displacement is a vector, so it has its uh, x and y components. So this is equal to the change in x divided by the time in the i direction plus the change in y divided by the time in the J direction. So either of these will give you uh, the answer, but you know, because the physics apply independently in X and, and Y, uh, but you already know mm, actually you don't know it. So you don't know what is the, the time that it takes for the bullet to go through this uh, distance. Okay, so then we'll have to calculate it with the Y component. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we have our kinematic equations. This is one kinematic equation. This is another and the third one. Is that one. So we know the acceleration. Um, it is uh, G the acceleration due to gravity. Um, and we know the initial uh, velocity, or actually I, I wanted to uh, mention something before this. Mm. So 
So these are the, the general uh, kinematic equations. So if we consider the horizontal direction, this one stays, this one stays, and we shall call it uh, Vx naught, but there's no acceleration in the x direction. So we can get rid of that one. There's no acceleration here. This will be velocity in x. This will be initial velocity in x. There's no acceleration in x, so we can get rid of that. And also, there's no acceleration here. So, you know, um, just like we saw in a previous problem, number five, uh, the initial velocity is equal to the final velocity. The velocity is the same all the time. Nevertheless, in the y direction, we do have uh, a, an, ex uh, an acceleration. And even though the equation is exactly the same, um, you know, just for clarity, for clarity, you might want to call it y. So in this case, y is equal to y not, uh, y not, y not plus the initial velocity in y times the time plus the one half of acceleration in y t squared. This is the equation that we need to use, right? Uh, because we want the time and uh, we have a displacement. So this is the equation that we want. So, you know, here we can assume that it starts at x equals zero, right? So we can get rid of that one. And so here we just have that the position in x is just the velocity in x times the time. Here we could assume the same thing that it starts at zero, right? Um, the initial velocity, you know, there's this is just like dropping uh, something, you know, from uh, just let it let it drop. So the initial velocity is zero. So even though it has a velocity in the horizontal direction, it doesn't have velocity in the vertical direction. Uh, it only gains some velocity in the vertical direction because of gravity pulling it down. Okay, so. The initial velocity is zero. So it makes things a little easier. Over here, you only have uh, this term that depends linearly on the time. And over here, you have a quadratic equation in which you only have um, this number. OK, so uh, we want to calculate uh, the time and what is this distance? Well, that's, that distance is uh, y not equals zero, right? It starts here, but then it's going to fall these two centimeters. So y final, let's put it final, is two times 10 to the negative two meters. So, you know, we just have to solve for y. The acceleration in the y direction is equal to 2y divided by t squared. So, um, this is 0. Sorry, this is negative because it's just below 0, right? So, this is going to be minus 2 times 10. Uh, oh, sorry, we know the acceleration is, is gravity. We want the time. Okay, so uh, 2y divided by the acceleration uh, is equal to t squared. So to get t, we just take the square root of this. Okay, so now this is twice this negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2 meters 
and it's starting to look a little crowded. So I'm going to remove this, right? And the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second. It's just the acceleration due to gravity. So this negative goes away with this negative. And then you have a square root. And this is equal to Oh, this is second squared. So it's going to be square root of uh, 0 0.004 second squared, which is equal to 0 0.64 seconds once you take the square root. Okay, so that is the time that the bullet takes to fall down two centimeters from rest. And I'm not sure this is zero. It looks like a little bit too much. Zero 64 seconds. Okay, so it's not just a bullet, any object on earth is going to fall two centimeters in 0 0.064 seconds. Okay, so now we have that part. Um, so now that we have the time, the time is gonna be the same for both. Then, and we know the distance is this 50 meters, we can calculate uh, the velocity. So this one was part A, the flight time. So for part B, you want to know this velocity. Well, it's going to be 50 meters. divided by 0 0.6064 seconds. That is equal to 0.0. I actually use all the numbers after the, the four over here. And this 782.6 meters per second. All right. So this is an um, interesting problem, kind of typical. So it asks you to, well, first you have to realize, as in all the other problems, that the laws of physics, you know, the kinematics applied independently in X and in Y. So you are given a vertical distance, you know, how, how much it falls. And you know the acceleration due to gravity. So just with that information, you can calculate how long it's going to take. And of course, the time that it takes to fall down these two centimeters is the time that it took for the bullet to go through the 50 meters. Uh, otherwise, you will not have hit that, that point. And so then we have everything we need to calculate part B, which is to get the velocity, uh, the horizontal velocity. So yeah, obviously it's moving much faster in the horizontal velocity than in the vertical velocity, but still this acceleration was enough to um, make the person firing this, this rifle uh, to miss the target. All right, so thanks. I hope you uh, learned something useful. <laughs>